Some time ago, I proved that you can get gold weapons from hardlock chests, water towers, and police vans, but I never proved that you can get them from the prologue in Dying Light, so that's probably going to be the name of this video. We're going to start a new game on Nightmare, of course, because we want the Golden Boy outfit at the end of this. Crane jumps out of a plane, waves his gun in bystanders' faces who are just trying to help, gets bit by a zombie, and gets this dude killed. Meet Jade. She hates us, and she's internet famous or something. Next is a little parkour training part that I remember remembering, but I don't really remember. This part actually helped with my key bindings. I walk all over Raheem. Crane forgets that he saw the sun a minute ago on the roof, and finally, we're on the map. Upon editing this video, I realized that I should probably explain to you my strategies just a little bit. There's a problem with trying to farm from hardlock chests and police vans in the prologue since I can't use a bed to change the time of day and I'm unable to reset the chest. Normally what I would do is unlock a chest, don't touch the contents unless I really wanted it, and then sleep in a bed. This will relock the chest and change the loot within it. To fix this problem, I came up with a solution. All I have to do is unlock just about every fucking chest and van I find across the fucking map. Oh yeah, and I'm bleeping out fucks, cunts, and that's about it from now on. By the way, I've made videos on how to farm for gold weapons normally for normal folk. The links to those are in the description. I do some of the mission stuff, but immediately head to the stuffed turtle, or just stuffed turtle, to do quarantine stuff instead, which is a DLC you have to buy called Cuisine and Cargo. I want to get a gold water pipe since my survival level is so low, it's two. And I get taken advantage of in my weak state by these zombies who brush up against me and I implode. That way I lose progress to the next survival level, so it's actually a good thing. Enemies in quarantine zones, though, are as tough as can be getting to the GRE boxes, and here is especially difficult. If I had the stomp perk, I wouldn't struggle so hard. I spent over an hour trying to clear out this quarantine zone using nothing but my superior training and indomitable will. But these dicks persisted. I tried keeping them at legs reach, being taller, but these guys can get kicked in the head repeatedly over and over without dying. It's not until this viral's arm clipping through a locker that I remembered that putting zombies into awkwardly positions kills them instantly. This changes everything. I level up my power level and get kickstunned to hopefully give myself time, hopefully get my- okay that makes sense, to unlock the doors leading to the GRE boxes. I locked most of the zombies behind the first set of double doors I had to unlock, but for some stupid reason the virals just abracadabra through the wall anyway, and even if I manage to kill the viral, another spawns in his place, so I'm hoping to stun the viral giving myself a couple seconds to unlock the doors leading to the GRE boxes. I get to work by cramming zombies into every crevice I can find, but don't end up making anything as dead as my channel until I shove this stupid bitch behind this piece of furniture in the corner. One by one I hide them there until they stop coming, including the virals, which stop spawning in after like 5 or so. I get through the door and unlock the boxes just to get shit on. The game doesn't care what all I had to do um, to get to the boxes. So I left the quarantine zone and started farming police vans to make myself feel better and found my first orange weapon. I totally high-fived this dick's face with my foot to celebrate. I level up a lot of killing, what? I've never actually written scripts before, I'll get better at this, I promise. Or not, I level up a lot killing, oh, zombies and parkouring while well. Looting and crafting so I make a lot of progress. Continue killing and looting ambulances to find more medkits that I don't plan on sharing with the deadbeats at the tower. I get slide which is a dope perk and will come in handy later and I also get dropkick finally which is f***ing awesome. I make my way to the bridge where I convince a few hundred zombies to walk into the light. By this time I have a few purple weapons I can use to level up my power. I tightrope crane sweet cheeks to the top of the bridge where there's a powerful blueprint garbage and a hard lock chest i also spent time power leveling up not power to get free running adept now crane won't get tuckered out so quickly i decided to continue with first assignment which would turn out to be the best decision i'd make and that's where i stopped on the first day i start off the next day getting two birdstone at once and sneak attack by this ninja I also level up a lot. Finally, I can stomp motherfuckers. Oh, and I find another orange weapon to add to my orange weapon collection. I watch a zombie try to catch a butterfly, which kind of pissed me off. Found my first king mod. Get my 100th med kit. Unlock combat expert. And find a really cool potion that makes things all derpy. The Halloween event just started, and that would change everything. 
Now that I have stopped leveling up power is really easy even though I'm not doing it efficiently. And that's when I find a fucking gold weapon in my motherfucking inventory. Also, I think someone just my pants. You're probably asking yourself the same thing I'm asking myself. Will Dying Light 2 be delayed again? Will there be PvP? Will there be Be the Zombie? And how did I get a gold weapon in my inventory? We may never know. I look back at all my footage for the past hour. I didn't get it looting, so why do I have a gold pipe in my inventory? I find out it's part of the Halloween event, and I think I got it by stomping virals and stuffed turtle. I got excited over nothing. I get told that a lot. I feel like a failure because at this point, I can only say that you can sort of get gold weapons, but I want to give you a definite yes or maybe. As I record this right now, it's the 13th of December, and I realized the Halloween event was a while ago, but that's just how long it takes me to make a video sometimes. It's been so long. Back then, I had a girlfriend. Last month, I had a girlfriend. Last week, I had a girlfriend. Now, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't know where I was going with that. You can't get gold weapons through Bozak Horde or Prison Heist during the prologue because those things aren't available. So the only way I should be able to get them is from farming, hardlock chests, police vans, blah blah blah. I'm also not going to count quarantine zones since that's DLC shit. Speaking of quarantine zones, I enter Stuffed Turtle to witness these weirdos facing the same direction, which freaks me out a bit. And that's when I start to hear my watch beep. But that can't be, I remark to myself. Then I call myself a freak for talking to myself as I continue playing with these corpses. And when I step outside, I see with my own two meat gazers that the sun did indeed go down. My theory is that during first assignment, the sun isn't actually stopped, but slowed way down in the sky. And by entering the quarantine zone, I activated the mission stuffed turtle, and somehow that allows night to come. Or I'm just stupid and the Halloween event has everything to do with it. What a mystery this is. I killed my first volatile after a five minute fight and head to the bridge where I find that it's lit up by UV, which will stop volatiles from following me. The UV lights on the bridge shouldn't be lit up though, since you have to do a mission later involving Crane, some lights, his hands, and a blindfold. Since it's night, I'm leveling up power and agility past my wildest expectations. I've also found no gold weapons legit at this point, which is weird. I've been doing this for a long time now, but I am finding lots and lots of potions, which in turn makes it easier to clear out these assholes leveling up and farming. I also find a way to climb the bridge that I don't remember from before. I took a lot of big hits to the head when I was a baby, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. It's at this point I discover I'm not taking any fall damage either. I don't pay attention to announcements, so I don't realize the Super Crane event is active right now, so I spend a lot of time playing around with this. I start power leveling my agility a better way, I think, just to get bored, so I claim some dockets on Techland's website instead, which gives me some guns. Follows are roaming around, but are so slow and limited. I'm not sure if it's because I haven't been introduced to them yet, or if I'm such a low level, or maybe the combo, but getting and keeping their attention is super hard, and they refuse to mount me. Farming these guys right now isn't worth it since they're not weak, just slow and stupid. I also find that going to safe zones refills my ammo every time, so now I can really level up my power. I go to the bridge and clear it out completely just to feel like a big boy. Killing goons is very easy, so I complete the challenge and get my second gold pipe. I also start killing volatiles to try and get the special Halloween event weapon, which I end up doing. Go to the bridge, clear it out, power up, look for gold weapons. How have I not found any gold weapons yet? So I take a break and I decide to go play with some volatiles for a while. Just look at these guys. They look like toddlers throwing a fit find another orange weapon, my fourth or fifth king mod, I don't remember. I accidentally leveled up my survival, which I didn't want to do, but then I realized that it doesn't matter. I already found a gold pipe, which I wanted to do for my own purposes. So I say, fuck it. I might as well level up survival a bit, but not too much or else the zombies on the bridge will become way too hard to blow away. I trap a volatile and do some things to him that I call playful secrets. I find another orange weapon, finally get mounted, max out power, unlocking legend levels, level up survival to 12 for the grapple, visit the river people who try to sell me their women later, tickle two volatiles, reach legend level 13, and another orange weapon. I also made a Haran military rifle which helps a lot and drop kick this bitch off a cliff. I also play with potions I've been picking up and learn that one makes my guns super strong so I'm able to kill volatiles a lot easier. 
Leveling up survival made that easier too, but I also caused those annoying volatiles that see through camo to start spawning in, and they don't mind pouncing me, which freaks me out. I miss it when volatiles were less of a threat than level 2 zombies. By doing all this dumbass farming and wasting time, I've actually Mr. miyagi myself into getting good at playing Dying Light on PC, so that's pretty cool. It sucks that I'm me and my ceiling's pretty low. I find an orange safari saber, an orange inventory full, kill a bunch of dicks on a bridge again. A volatile tries to intimidate me but turns into a wet noodle and I have to put him down. At this point, I'm leveling up my legend level pretty fast by running around like a maniac and killing everything on sight, plus turning in disaster relief packages helps. I find another king mod, orange weapon, clear the bridge again so I can become a spider under that bridge. That's a callback to an earlier video. Farm some volatiles, reach legend level 44, find another king mod to add to the collection, turn in disaster relief packages to level up my survival. I go to stuff turtle to get these virals stuck under this door, the same way my mom would get stuck in the dryer so my uncle would have to help her out. I farm the hell out of the stuffed turtle to get the packages and finally get my first orange weapon in that dumbass quarantine zone that doesn't bear fruit and I called it the stuffed turtle again. I remembered that I can pull zombies to myself from across the room with my grapple hook while the super crane event is active which is fucking awesome. I totally forgot about that. I max out survival like I said I wasn't gonna do, make zombies go where they don't want to go, find an SMG, clear the bridge to still find no gold weapons anywhere. This volatile with the craziest look in his eye came at me all erect and shit, so I made him limp. But I gave him a quick tug. I find another not gold weapon. Why do orange weapons always get me excited? King mod, orange weapon, orange weapon. I find an out of the map glitch that I'll never figure out how I got into in the first place and this is where I gave up. I have an inventory full of orange weapons even though I scrapped most of them. Reached legend level 63 and maxed out everything but never found any gold weapons. This is really weird because on Xbox I can find a gold weapon in probably an hour and I spent five days trying to find just one gold weapon to prove that you can get gold weapons in the prologue. But all I did was prove that you maybe can, maybe can't. I don't know, maybe my RNG is just shit. So I get out of the prologue. I gave up. Next, I'm going to see if you can find a gold weapon in the slums before you get to Old Town. If you found this video entertaining or helpful or anything, you can give it a like if you like. But I also have a dislike button that I made in the comments. You can go ahead and like that dislike button if you don't like the video. Don't forget to dislike the video too though, just because. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.